Hi, and welcome back to Stray. The very first catfish game. Never been a cat in another game. Last time we left off, we were looking for some, uh... Well, what was it? It was the, uh, the Outsiders. We were looking for the journals. We're gonna go see if we can find some more of those. It'd be fun. Uh, it's been a couple days since I last played. Here we are. Yeah, we talked to Marusk. They played us some music. That was the outro. As you can see, I haven't done anything since then. But you know. Let's see who this is. Roshi. I'll take care of the plants. The humans have proved them so much. Now they require very little light. Just add a bit of water, and look how big they get. Really amazing technology. It is kind of based. Based in Epic. Oh shit, we can show them like the notebooks. I guess everyone right here knows the symbol. The Outsiders. Oh, that's right. Okay. We live in the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Okay, so I should bring the, mo the notebook to Momo. I need to find another Outsider symbol. Okay. Man, I love this game. It's so it's so neat just climbing up shit. It's like it's not it's not hard at all. Like you're just looking for stuff and you're just climbing up. Just press the button. But it's like Oh before I said. We clean fuck. That's where Stanford disagrees. We're taking a break right now. Oh. Oh man, now I feel bad. But uh yeah. It's just it's the the controls are really easy, but the gameplay is just so satisfying. I mean, it should be. It should be easy, right? Because it's like, hey, you're a cat. You're just walking around. It's like, it's doesn't need to be any more simple than that. Okay. Anyway, we gotta get over to the symbols. I don't think... Have I been to that one over there? I think I might have. Yeah, I think we've been over there. Uh, have you been to that one? Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, jeez. I should have rewatched the footage before doing this. Oh, I can sleep here. Oh, that's cute. Aw. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, I love this game. It's so sweet. He's just snoozing. Snoozing on the, on the little bed. Oh. That's so cute. I guess the, the robots use mattresses as well. They feel comfort, I suppose. I guess they're just like sentient beings. Can we knock that over? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... I, I'm not sure if we've been to this one or not. I don't think we have. Yeah, this feels new. There weren't this many books before. Got a scratch. Hold on. Yeah, let's go. Doing some scratching. Okay. Uh oh, that's a cool picture. Just sitting there. Like the what is it? Like the thinking? Or the thinker? Whatever. Okay. This music's kind of banging, bro. Like, listen to that shit. That shit's fire, man. Gotta add this to my playlist. What's that sound? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Huh. This dude's dead. That's not very good. Oh, some more sheet music. Nice. Uh, but are there any more notebooks? Perhaps? They just kind of like keep dead bodies around. It's kind of like... Not good. I guess it doesn't really matter because, you know... Robots don't really... Do the disease thing. Aw, oh, you can sleep here too. That's so cute. But anyway, yeah, back to the dead bodies. Um, I mean, it's just kind of like, put them somewhere. 
know what I mean? Like someone should check check up on this shit. Maybe it's back here? Translate. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh, we got keys to a safe. Not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Okay. So it's behind a bunch of books. I suppose. So we are in the right place. Okay. Definitely haven't been here. So it's behind a bunch of books. Charge complete. Okay. Uh where would a safe be? Not like like no, it's not here. Buried behind a bunch of there it is. There we go. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If we can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we have found. Yeah, we got all the info, baby. Let's go. We should close this. Okay, I guess we're close it. I guess it doesn't really matter. He didn't bring it with him, right? Anyway, back to Momo. Oh. Yo, we got the TV! Got robot news. What's breaking? Get to take a sip real quick. Yeah, watching TV. Let's go. He's angry, dude. I gotta, I gotta check that guy out. What are you doing over here? Why are you looking so mad? Oh, it's just the glasses. Oh, hey, it's you. You look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Man, we could have got pats, dude. We're so close. Actor is being stingy. Oh, hold on. Yeah! Hello? Let's go. I understand cats now. I, I get it. I get why they, they throw that shit off. That's fun. just reinforcing the fact that like cats have like a, a way better standard of living than us like we should we should like return the monkey you know what I mean ooh, ooh, ah, ah, moment reject modernity turn to monkey ride wife life good wife fight back kill wife wife gone think about wife Regret. Alright, anyway. Momo, always sad. Hey, little cat. You still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh, show him Doc's notebook. Oh, it belonged to Doc. Really, he was really a huge nerd with electronics and stuff. It's only on the verge of a great discovery. No, like, bro. Still looking for useless notebooks. Oh, I just gave it to him. Show right up. Oh, he found Clementine's notes. He's from the gravy, though. The most fear fearless person I've ever met. I don't know. Hey, look at it. You still looking for those useless notebooks? Blah, blah, blah. That's the Blatzar's notebook, right? I never quite understood. 
but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Sometime, the Blatzar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Yo! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just sneezed, man. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to find that in the editing and just turn that down. Oh, man. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Fix it. Are we going into a cat cutscene? Yeah, we are. Let's go. Watch. Et voila, it works. Come with me. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, you should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know. You're the only one small enough and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. I have to avoid the Zerks, bro? Okay, so we gotta get to that building. Okay. Gotta do a little zerking. Rooftops. Oh shit. Look at those guys. I get it. Okay. Successful. I tried using the ladder. I'm still not cat. I'm, I'm not cat brain enough to see to see all the the cat ways of moving. Remember, what do you have in memory? The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the cons the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope. Not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Memory received. Remember. Remember. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we want to go in here. We want to bring it... Yeah, we want to bring it this way. Oh, yeah, so we can get up there. Okay, jump up. Here. Nice. Oh, this is fun. I love this. If you guys are still watching at this point, like, you should get this game. This is banger game, bro. Like, top 10. Like, legit, when I when I saw this game was coming out, this I, I knew this was going to be, like, game of the year material. Like, it just had to be. I 
and somehow it's like it's like better than what I expected to be honest. It is like an outstanding game. Oh, I gotta. Oh shit. Okay, another stuck over there. Anyway, like I was, I was already like willing. Like I thought this was a PS5 exclusive at first. And I, I've always been an Xbox guy. I was legitimately considering, like switching to a P, like getting a PS5, just to play this game. Like that's the only reason. Like, I'm not even a console. I don't usually play on console, but I, I, I like have Xboxes. And shit. I've always, I was, I had like the 360 and the one or whatever. It was like I was considering switching just for this game. And when I heard it was coming out on PC, I was like, oh, as soon as I did, I like pre-ordered it. I was like, I've been, I've been like a super stray fan for like such a long time. And it's finally at, it's, it's, it's better than I could have expected. Like, honestly. Like I wasn't, I wasn't expecting like a story or anything. I was expecting like, you just, you're a cyberpunk cat and you go around and you do shit. Kind of like Ghost Simulator or something like that. And if it was something like that, I would have I would have been perfectly like happy with it. I would have been like, hell yeah, bro, that's an awesome game. But it was it was just this is just outstanding. Like, this is better than my like my wildest expectations for this game. Like honest to God, game of the year. I'm gonna predict it right now. This is this is the game of the year. Like I don't I don't think there could be anything that could beat this. Cause this is this is just like pure perfect gameplay. Like this is what a video game should be. It's a little it's a little goofy, it's a little fuck, 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 fuck. Oh shit. Anyway, it's it's pretty goofy, but it's but it's what it's what a game should be. You know, it should be it's a little goofy. It's fun, it's simple, it's got all the it's got a nice story. It's got the the free roam, you know. Like if I was if I was to point to someone and say, "This is the most game ever," it would be this game. This game is the most game ever. Shit! Shit! This is just awesome. Anyway, enough about, enough about enough gushing about the game I'm currently playing. You already know it's good. Okay. How am I supposed to deal with this? Oh shit! Memory. Hello. Remember. Neko Corp. Oh my god. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Da, da, da. Let's go. The cats made the Zerks. It was the cat's fault. Okay, I can get in from here. Okay, so I want to hack the door. And 
come out and then jump over here. Because they can't get through. Okay. Oh shit. This one. Get it up. We get it. All right. Now we gotta get over here. Up in front of the trash. Then we jump up. Okay. That moment. Let's go. Okay. There we go. All right. I've improved my catting skills. Oh, I guess that's the building. We're so close. That's no good. guys are funky. I don't like those guys. Try that again, shall we? Alright, let's see if we can analyze the situation a little better. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing when we bring that down we have to jump on those and get up through the top. I'm just gonna... There, okay. Transceiver on this antenna. What if I don't? Hmm? I'm gonna do it. Right. Nice.
Man, that's pretty. That's so pretty. I love that. Look at the view. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is. I remember now. The city. Meant to be a shelter. A shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights. Chromatic roof going off the city. Humankind built the shell to protect themselves from the outside. But it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren. Unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. The promise wasn't just to go out, go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the train, we have to go back? We should be able to get help. Oh man, we have to go through all those guys again. Oh no. Oh, we can bucket back. Yo. This is cat fast travel, dude. Let's go. Look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Why are you zooming out? Why are you fading out on me? Go to a cat cutscene? Oh, we are. The cat has returned. Mission report. Catnip obtained. The slums part two. Momo. Oh. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but uh, the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Admin. Admin. Be careful. It's case sensitive. <laughs> that must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. It's case sensitive. I'm gonna... Here's the lock for the window. Code was... It was an H, I think. There, wrong key. Oops, my bad. Let's try that again. Okay. Is it an O or is that a zero? Let's see. Success. <laughs> That's so tough. I love it. Woman's at the bar waiting for us. Alright. Time to go cat drinking. I don't know where the bar is, but I guess they have an antenna. B-ball. I assume it's on ground level. Dude, cat time. Let's go. Yeah? Me too. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. They're rascals, bro. Oh, it's a laundromat. Nice. Where the bar at, though? Oh, what's that say? Bardman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clifford. Okay. Doesn't say anything about a bar. Um, uh, Man. Oh, yeah, it's the same, same ones. Zach, I left it to the streets, and the next day the Zerks have consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. This is Rico. All that weird stuff always happens to you, baby. I don't dare leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door.
Uh, okay. Lost, what do you need? Uh, oh, I guess, never mind. They only have a note I can show them. I don't know where the bar is. Uh... Roshi. Maybe I should have read the note a bit closer. Uh... I guess it'd be like a building with an antenna. We see any antennae? There's one there. We gotta go up. Oh, there's Momo. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Put me on the chair. Oh, we got Pat. There we go. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Dot, dot, dot. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out. And Wait, is it you was a Blatzar? Momo? <laughs> I can't believe it! I'm so happy to hear your voice, the Blatzar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, psh. We're safe, psh. We found a way up. Hello? You still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh. Very dangerous, psh. Zerg's everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Look, okay, wait, hold on. What is that? What language is that? I got. It might be like C sharp. I'm not sure. That's kind of funky though. Sewers? Hello? How? Hello? Darn it! We lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zablatzer is alive. And the other outsiders managed to go up the, through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous part place in the slums. If Zablatzer made it, then there must be a way. Dot dot dot. Who's the question marks? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal of you, especially the little one. And he tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is done in my business. Thanks, Seamus. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Nemus has never been the same since. Oh, Doc. We know Doc. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be wor where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Let's go break and enter. I guess there, there's not really any laws here. I don't think there's much of a judicial system. Chatting. I got a little chatty. That's funny. Oh, it's echoing. Oh, that's funky. It's like, what's that say? Announcement. I'm looking for any sheep music for the guitar in the audience. And finally, bring it back to me. I live near the elevator. Come on, Seamus, open the door. I know your father would have wanted to, wanted to help us. Aw. 
That was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you? I think I have an idea. What's your idea, Momo? Oh shit. Breaking and entering. Your TikTok's notebook. Show it to Seamus. Okay. Contains a lot of information that will act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the others. Alright. What are you doing here? I told you. You had to do this as a suicide mission. Leave me be. What are you doing in here? I told you to get into the suicide mission. No item. Docs no. What's this? Wait. This is my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room in here? In our flat? But where? Okay. Translate. Time will tell. I like how I can just knock down the photos. He's not complaining too much. Oh shit! I don't know any codes. Okay, that's the door, obviously. We gotta find a code somewhere. Oh, there's a bunch of clocks. 16 hour days? That's kind of funky. Two, five, one, one, maybe? Try that. Two, five, one, one. That's it. Haha, <laughs> the clocks. Always look at analog clocks when you're doing this shit. They always, they usually hold some puzzle. Puzzle stuff. Observation. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. Blueprints. It must be for a Zerk weapon. Papa was, al was always so secretive of his work. He's been Zerking in his room. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but he needed it. He needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and never came back. Hmm. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Okay. Metal zerking. Can we knock this down? Yeah, let's go. Broken tracker. Find any anything interesting? Do this. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. He needed a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums could, should be able to help. Go with me. I'll open the door for you. Actually, let's see if I can... Anything in there? Not nothing in there. But that was fun, though. <laughs> you gotta fix the track here. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Momo about it. Hold on. 
Hi, buddy. That guy cleaning the pan again? Bear is making use of all that detergent. Wow, that fellow is conveniently placed and also looking at technology. Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. Did you go visit the barter man? There's something for everybody over there. Oh, that track looks pretty bad shape. Maybe the barter man knows how to fix it. Okay. Barter man. Barter man. Okay, so we need to go... This way? Any more signs? That the barter man? Grizzly, what's that say? A marketplace. Oh, I'm the merchant for the market. Give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. As simple as that. Is exchange, master. Blah, blah, blah. That's the one energy drink can. I'll do no less. An electrical cable. Best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit turn. Best I can do. It's an ancient relic. A testament to the talent of our ancestors. It cost me three energy drinks. I need to find some energy drink cans, I suppose. Let's first set these items to help us defend against the Zerks. What is this? Ah. Uh, oh, nice. Find that here? Uh, you should prepare it, though. Maybe Elliot can help you. Alright. Well, I think I know where I can get the detergent for the cable. I assume I'm gonna need that. I guess we gotta go to Elliot Programming. That makes more sense. This way. Elliot Programming. There we go. I got the door away for a toe. Stealing your shit. Here for Elliot? He's just over there. Okay. Up the stairs. Yes, can I help you? Yes, you can help me, Mr. Elliot. Oh, I don't. oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. The Tohima BR-2000. Track anyone with it. May I? No, to repair it, but I'm getting... But when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something. I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Blanket, okay. Bro, who programmed these robots to feel cold? Wacky as fuck. Grandma made this car for me. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. Okay. Uh, blanket. I guess I need some energy drink cans. I don't know where I can find those. Around, I suppose. Okay. 
Yeah, I think that's just the painting. It doesn't come with the blanket. Uh... Blanket. We need a blanket. Okay. Where can I? Uh, maybe we can talk to Momo. Maybe Momo will know. <laughs> Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Okay. What's that say? <laughs> Jacob, employee of the month. Good job, Jacob. Like it, like it. Who are you? I love knitting. I've knitted. Uh, let's less scarves. Maybe some electric. I'll make it. Okay, so we do need the electrical cable. Okay. We're on a bartering mission now. Now we gotta talk to the laundry guy. Some detergent. There we go. the detergent now we gotta go oh it's this way now we gotta go to the barter man give him the detergent for the electric cable and then we're gonna take the electric cable get a poncho and give the poncho to Elliot isn't that overly complicated in the best way possible and go ahead. here you go all right, we got the electric cable. Oh, not this one. This way. I guess we could go this way. Right. There we go. Now we need to go down here. Talk to Grandma. Yeah, the electrical cable for me? I'd love to make it a co I'd love to make a control for you, but I need the cable. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Poncho Gaming. Let's go. There you go, little one. This will suit you well. Funny, she gave me like a cat sized poncho. Like, what am I what am I supposed to do with this? Thank you. What a polite robot. Opening the door. There you go, Elliot. Don't worry about the tracker. It's safe here with me, but I can't work on it unless I have a cloth to keep me warm. No, I don't. Oh, where'd you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. This is a cat-sized poncho. Look, no tremors. I'll be able to work again. Thanks. No, I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update. One more thing. Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding whoever you're looking for. All right. It's, why did she give me a robot-sized poncho? Well, I guess it is kind of a cat-sized poncho, isn't it? Because it is a little small on him. That's kind of funny. Remember. 
memory. This, that this tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify this these air, air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what humans would have wanted. Alright. Oh, oh yeah, we got to find Momo. There you go, Momo. I'm really struggling to get connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Steamus's? Sorry, I don't know how to use that. Oh, okay. Cool. Way to blow me off, bro. Where are you, Seamus? There you are. You managed to fix the tracker? You did it! You fixed it! Well done. Give it here. Alright. Now for another cat cutscene. Patented cat cutscene. Tracker fixing cat cutscene. Let's go. Did it work? Did he do it? We got a ping! Oh my god, we got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it! Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Why are you so mad? Door, right? <laughs> Look at that pose, bro. But this must be it. He really left the slums. Dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. We're going through the door. moment. Okay. Let's see. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. Can't do this. I'm not as fast as you are. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. Okay, it's the outsiders. Open the door for you. Okay. Later, Seamus. Alright. We're going through. That was a funny noise. A memory over here. Okay. Remember. Look how huge this wall is. I remember. It was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. And, and that and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Okay, 
I guess we missed some memories, but that's fine. Dead end. Flipping. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Up there. Up there. There we go. This is pretty safe, I assume. I don't think they can swim. We gotta jump over there and then jump back. Oh, and then we jump back here and then we jump back there. That'll push it over. Okay. Yo, go for a ride, baby. See? Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh man, I'm limping. That's not good. My back leg's not doing okay. Okay, I guess I'm fine. Doing a little licking. Doing a little climbing. What's over here? Secret area. Oh shit. I don't think that's Doc. The scientist I used to work for always said that he wanted to retire to a little college cottage fishing all day. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city. Nobody could have, nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. If we got to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what scientists would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Okay, good thing that's not Doc. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Uh, there's a dead robot there. That's not too good. Okay. Doctor. Disable my pain inhibitors. Uh, I guess we gotta find a... Hmm, it's an electrical generator, but it seems to require some part to function. Okay. Yeah, we need a part. It seems. We can find one. It'd be rectangular, I think? That's, it it looked kind of rectangular. The spot where it's supposed to go. Uh, anything here? Nope. Can I open the door? I cannot. I'm a mere cat. Cats and doors. Do not mix, unfortunately. Unless you're a really smart cat, but you know. This guy's only average cat intelligence. Though he does use advanced cat tactics from time to time. Okay. Maybe let's follow the, the wiring, see if it leads us somewhere.
Zerk cage. The wiring did lead us somewhere. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Wait, you're not Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. Uh, did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. He came here to test my deflector, but it didn't go as planned. Wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around, but the house... The house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Remember. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small, running around, making lots of noises. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt so much more alive then. With them. Even with the difficulty they brought, adults seemed to love, love them very much. Doc says he misses seeing this. Is that the same thing? Let's see. We need a part. Hey, be careful! That the fluxer. At full charge, it could explode Zerks like confetti. My baby needs 1.21 gigawatts. Sorry. <clears throat> This baby needs a 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The only problem with that is it won't start. I think the fuse did. With all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. You can reach the generator and replace the fuse. If we replace a flux capacitor, I should be able to get to the flux to recharge. Go on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Marty. Marty the cat. That's my cat's name now. His name's Marty. <laughs> he just wrote it. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. Just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. Alright. We're gonna get zerked, but we gotta we know our way back, so that's good. Alright. What time to use? You ready guys? Three, two, one. Bye bye. Annihilated by those guys, man. That's no good. Did it! Did it, Marty! Amazing! You got the generator back. Oh, amazing! You got the generator back, huh? Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute! I might be able to mount this defluxer on your drone. That's a pretty big defluxer, man. I don't know if you can. Alright. 
It worked. The Fluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it can malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Hold on, just real quick. A little, little bit of, a little bit of scratching action. <laughs> All right. Now let's head back to the village. Thank you. Oh my. That's a lot of funky dudes. I got those dirt so we can get through. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Wow, it worked great. But I suspected it can overheat. But cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it'll last until we reach the village. I like the I like the the Back to the Future reference here. Nice. Oh, he's gonna open the garage. Switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity has been cut. Don't worry, Doc. I got you. There we are. Go up there. Done. Done. Da da. All right. Jump on here. gameplay begins. Oh shit, we got Zerk HQ over here. the entrance. Okay. That was easy. Aw. Close the door, please. Doc, close close the Okay. It's heartwarming. Aw. Aw. 
He missed his dad. That's cute. But like, also, like, close the door behind you. Like, he, okay, I guess they closed it. Oh, he's got pats. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. Great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Okay. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did good to get uh, a good thing together. Yeah, I'm so happy he's back. Hi, Teddy. What's Rosie up to? Oh, Billy. You know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. Jesus. Oh, and did you meet the, the weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. Yeah, I'm right here. So he's about the Zerks after all. Yeah, 10 cans? Yeah, <laughs> the 10 cans he opened? This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody survived that long in the Dead City. I mean, I survived it a minute in the Dead City, but you know, who's counting? Okay, okay, okay. that sheet music. Because I think I can't afford it now, because I think it was only one. Uh, one. Yep. There you go. Okay. Not a very good boat, Momo. Does that thing even have a rudder? Like, what's going on here? Can't believe you found Doc and get the deflexors. This. And don't go find the Blatzar. Let's go. Go get the Blatzar. Throwing away. The sewers. Hold on. All right, I think that's where I'm gonna end the episode because that's a that's a pretty good cliffhanger, right? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, uh, do it anyway. You know why not? Fun. But uh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Stray, first cat type game.